Okay, so I want my trigger to go that way, so I'll put my compression chamber on this one. Now you get your piece of PVC with your valve in it. This is all dry now. Once you've left this for 10 minutes, this is. I'm going to have my trigger going straight up like this, and my valve, I'm going to have it so it's straight up. So go like that on. Just like that. Then, once you've glued that onto that, you want to get your end cap with no holes in it and glue that onto there. Now once you glue the end cap on the back, cut a small piece and put that in there. Now you want to get your coupling and your small piece and you want to glue the small piece in the bottom of the coupling as far as it goes in. So just a tiny little bit is hanging off or none hanging off. Once you've glued that in there, get your bigger 90mm piece and glue that into the other side of the coupling. Now you want to take the bit that you glued up and your other end cap, put it in about that far and it should look like that on the inside. Now you want to get your long rod and stick it in there to about there and then see with your finger in because you can't go past so it has to be cut off before it goes so it'll be cut off about there. And so then you should get cut four of them. Each of them fits in there like that. Okay, so you want to mark on there your four holes for your pipes. So you want them to come out because you want a rounded cap, you want them to come out to about there because you want ultimately this will be inside there and they'll be on there and you want them to not come like past the wall like this you want them just sit nicely so they're nearly touching the walls so I've um, drilled the holes on there and so now I'm just going to get the drill and drill them out okay so I've got the four holes in there I was going to drill them so the hole would go inside them but I'll just do it so they sit on like this so what I'll do I'll just tack them on with a bit of hot glue or something and then I'll glue them on with something else I'll go find some glue okay so now I've got the four forks on uh, uh, they're pretty even so it just needs to face out so we'll shoot the net out except it um, out that way but also out that way so slowly getting out like that um, so there I've just hot glued them in I put tons of glue on they're all not protruding past the hole, which is good. So now I'm going to work on my uh, pieces here and hook them up to the net. Now once you've done that, you can glue all that back into that little cone thingy. Now once you've done all that, you can make the net that it will shoot. You want to, uh, to get about a 1.5 by 1.5 meter net with about um, with about 10 centimeter holes in it, so it's got plenty of room in it, depending what you want to shoot. And uh, then all you do is you make up some little weights for it. My weights are some steel cut off with some electrical tape to fit around it and they fit into the holes just perfectly then all you do is you strap the net to the top of the weights uh, I won't be using this net because the holes are too small but anyway you glue the net to the top of it like that and then you just put them in there compress to about 110 psi and off you go thanks for watching this video guys uh, please uh, comment and subscribe if you could I'll be posting some more videos, how to make a grappling hook, how to make a laser gun, and a couple of other things like that. Thanks guys. <laughs>